Hello YouTube, my name is Danny and today I'll be reviewing the Logan Premium Format statue by Sideshow Collectibles. This statue is uh, made by, uh, sculpted by Daniel Bell. He's now a pretty famous uh, sculptor and has made some of the better statues that Sideshow has produced in the last five years or so. So uh, we're going to start with the base. Um, here we have a wooden floor that looks like it's been ripped right out of a pub or a bar. Uh, they went with... Uh, uh, really like a nice dark brown wood. It's got different shadings of uh, colors. So they basically made it look like a real wooden floor. And uh, my hat's off to them for that. It's got a lot of good detail, different shadings of color. Uh, you can see where the wood's been clawed. It looks like real claw marks, uh, either from Wolverine fighting or saber tooth. One of the two. You have a couple of pool balls in there. You have a 14 out of 1. Uh, you have uh, also the uh, 8 in the back here behind his shoes. you got a broken cue stick here as well. And uh, just a lot of really good detail. The wood just looks terrific. It's got a lot of texturing in it. And between the sculpt and the paint job, it looks like authentic wood. And they did a really, really good job in my opinion. It's uh, moving up a little bit. You have a broken bar stool that his left leg is uh, going to be leaning on. It's got... Um, some cuts around the uh, leather and you see the foam coming out it looks like real foam therefore the stool itself looks very realistic the paint job is great the sculpt is great therefore you have a really cool base that's uh, not boring it tells a good story and it all just ties in really well so moving on up we have his boots they look like uh, cowboy boots uh, they go uh, maybe three quarters they got some nice uh, folds in the leather a lot of good stitching not only on the uh, leather part of the boots but also where the uh, sole meets the leather you can see stitching and it looks realistic it almost looks like a real boot uh, you have the sole there's some good detail in the back as well so they did a really nice job of making this look real and uh, have a lot of good texture and a great paint job to go uh, with that as well moving on up we have his mixed media jeans um, I like the mixed media jeans and this statue I think they did it more out of necessity than it was uh, a choice uh, by the sculptor because the uh, left leg where his arm goes into if you had to basically you know put the magnet in this side of this arm and it was paint or resin it would probably scratch and it would just create all kinds of problems uh, and it wouldn't look right this looks really good you can't really notice that there is a bit of a flat spot here because it is covered up by the jeans uh, speaking of the jeans once again they look really really well done the tailoring is good they fit well the stitching looks real on these it's got a uh, really cool leather belt uh, with a Canada on the uh, buckle uh, I'm not sure you can pick that up on camera you probably cannot uh, as you continue to move up the rest of the body is sculpted. So there is no more mixed media on this statue. That's pretty much it. The uh, wife beater looks like a real shirt. Uh, even though it's sculpted, it's got some claw marks in the back of it uh, that look very realistic and they look good. Looks like he's been in a battle just like the rest of the scene. Basically tells you uh, he's got dog tags that uh, do go magnetically. There's a little magnet in here and they do attach to uh, the right part of his chest, which is pretty cool. Or you can just leave him hanging if you choose to do that. Uh, his claws are not metal. These are sculpted, but they look right. They look to scale, and they look very good. They have sort of like a dull uh, silver finish to them, uh, but it looks good. The paint's good. There's no runny paint anywhere. It just looks like real claws, and they look great. Uh, as you move up his hands, they're both fists are clenched. His nails, you can see where the blood is collected from him clenching. It is red or pinkish. Some people didn't like it too much. I think it looks great because it, it's appropriate for what it is that he's doing. Uh, full of just great vein detail throughout. The vein detail throughout his arms, his chest, his neck area, his face is second to none. I've never seen better vein detail on any statue. Uh, it even it has it in the back too. So... It just looks great. They, they did a beautiful job of not only sculpting this, but the paint is just 
impeccable. Uh, it looks really good. I think you'll be happy if you do pick this up. Uh, as you move up more along his arms and veins, you'll see the hairs. And the way they did the hair, it just looks real. Even from up close, it looks like real hair. Obviously, there is no real hair in here. It's just shading that they do, also with a lot of texturing. So it just looks great. It looks like real hair, and it just really adds to this character. Then you move up to the face sculpt, and that, in my opinion, is the star of the show here. You have a beautiful raging expression on him. You can see all the folds, all the wrinkles on him, and it just looks like Wolverine, Logan, upset, angry, raging, and I just love it. It's just a beautiful portrait. I think they it, they knocked it out of the park with the portrait, and really with the whole statue. You know, it's just a good piece. Forget that it's a little bit small. It is a little bit undersized. Not for the character. He is a small character. But for a premium format. And it still sells for what every premium format sells for. And to me, even though it does have a ton of detail, it's a little bit overpriced. But it does look so good that you can kind of just get by it. Uh, I did get the exclusive, which comes with the uh, switch out head. Uh, this has the uh, adamantium damage on uh, his forehead. It looks great uh, it does look a little bit like uh, Jack Nicholson uh, if you look at it closer some people don't like it um, but it's grinning it's a different look I don't mind it uh, I don't think that it's a must-have I mean if you can't get the exclusive I think you know the regular version or the collectors was just as good um, I do like the exclusive because at the end of the it has better resale value and I do have a switch out option which I you know it's a pain to get them out of the boxes and set them up so I don't really use switch outs much but it's nice to have it when it's there um, so I hope you enjoyed this review I'll be doing some more in the next coming days I did purchase uh, quite a few statues that I have not reviewed in some time so I want to take care of uh, some of that but I appreciate you guys watching if you enjoy the content subscribe to my channel it's small it's growing I'll be adding things here and there but uh, I appreciate the support and uh, thank you for watching. Take care.